Uh, hey, I I didn't expect anyone here. No need to go. There is still a bit of space here. Enough for the two of us. I get the hesitation. I will be straightforward. Yes, I am a fan of yours, but I just needed a bit of fresh air. Some time to think. Feel free to sit with me, or... Mm, I can clear the spot. You certainly need a bit more of a breather after that performance. <laughs> no offense taken, I get it. Come, sit with me then. I'll scoot over a bit. Make some space. Um, do you have anything to sit on? The ground is a bit cold. Huh, that's good. Are you sure, though? It's a very nice jacket. Well, you do you. It's nice out here, isn't it? Sitting on the edge here, listening to the distant crashing of the waves, letting your feet dangle. Only the night air and your own thoughts. The noisy concert hall in the back, but knowing that you're away from all that. Now all by your lonesome. Or not so lonesome anymore. Hey, no worries. That's not how I meant it. You are a welcome presence, truly. Your feet certainly deserve a dangle too, after that performance of yours. It was stunning. The choreography must have been rough though. Uh, yeah, it is really hard. Honestly, I don't know how you singers do that sing and dance at the same time, the mechanics of that don't really make sense to me. Sure, when there is a playback then the answer is obvious, but live, breathing, dancing and performing your songs at the same time blows my mind. Wait, how is that never acknowledged? I've certainly seen people talk about it, or write how intricate some of your performances are, and the level of commitment on display. Oh, I actually never thought of that, but I guess it makes sense. When in such an isolated community, certain things are taken for granted, or envied, and that such hard work becomes the norm. Just part of the job. Hmm. Of course, it is very apparent how hard you work. The passion is clearly on display. Everyone can see that. It is one of the reasons why I finally decided to visit one of your concerts in person. Hearing the studio versions, seeing the music videos, or even the recording of some live events certainly paints a clear picture. I, however, wanted to form my own opinion. Hmm? Well, I'm sitting out here, ain't I? All by the merits of your art. Just contemplating what I witnessed. It definitely left an impression. So much so that I didn't want to go to the fan meet and greet. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I would have most certainly bought another ticket if one had been available. Hope that didn't come out wrong. I guess I just wanted to get away from the crowd. Digest the experience. Hear my own thoughts. So, I found this little spot here. It's nice and isolated. The chances of someone finding or even seeing me here are slim to none. Or so I thought. Anyway, how did the whole fan meeting thing go? Yeah, I can only imagine, but I'm sure that you made their day at least. They got their swag, a selfie and some precious memories, but... Yeah, it's the unfortunate truth that they aren't here for the person, but for the star. Sure, they are here for you. Definition of that you just varies from person to person. <sighs> I guess it's simply part of the job. It must be really hard, though, walking that line. On one hand, you're seen by more eyeballs than would be comfortable for any person. On the other, it is the very foundation of your career. It practically requires it. And yourself, your persona, and the star that people perceive are all caught between those forces. 
I don't envy anybody in that position, to be quite frank. On top of that, you're supposed to change, evolve, yet stay the same, be bigger, brighter, stronger, without being different from what you were before. That must be really hard. Hey, what's, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Oh, crap, I'm sorry. That wasn't my intention. My brain just started firing and uh, I guess my mouth just whacked to its tune. I didn't want to make you cry or anything. I honestly should have been more reserved because I know how hard things can be and how far a simple acknowledgement of those hardships can go. For some reason, I just didn't put two and two together. Sorry. No, it's not fine. Sure, crying can mean that a lot of stress is built up, a lot of internal pressure, and it can help relieve those for sure, but I'm certain you have other commitments as well. You're a sobbing mess right now. All that makeup is coming off those tears. If you say so. So, I feel kind of bad right now. Can I... can I make it up to you? Can I just hold you? Let you cry on my shoulder? There, there. It must have been really hard on you. I'm sorry. All that stress, all those expectations, they can crush any person. I'm just glad that I can provide you with a little reprieve, a little relief for all those pains. I hope you have someone you can turn to with those hurts. That's good. My words simply come out of left field, I guess. Treasure that person, truly. Here. Some handkerchiefs. Oh, don't worry about my jacket, it's fine. I have a washing machine, after all. It's nothing to fret over. Do I think... I actually didn't think about it, but we should be safe here. No paparazzis or anything. No camera or soul in sight. We should be well hidden from the world here. Why are you thanking me? All I did was make you cry. I still feel bad about it. For seeing you as a person? Oh. Um, you're welcome, I guess? I will be honest, I don't think that's such a big deal. We are just two people sitting here, out in the back watching the ocean waves crash, and treating each other as such, as people, is the bare minimum. On the stage, or in our videos, and even songs, you might be a star, but out here, you're just as human as everybody else. Your problems might not exactly be relatable to most, but they are human problems nonetheless. Sure, we can stay like this if you want to for a little while, but I think I'll shut up now, my blabbering mouth has done enough. No worries, I have no intentions of making this weird, or posting the story for clicks or something. Man, that must really suck, not being able to simply trust a stranger without being 100% sure that you're not being exploited or deceived in some way, simply by the merit of being well known. But look at me, just wagging my tongue again. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I've got some thinking to do myself. Mm, I can offer you my shoulder if you want to rest a little. Or you can have my lap, if that helps. Just lying down. It's fine with me, no worries. I won't make it weird if you won't make it weird. <laughs> just get a bit of rest, I'll watch over you.